Some claim that Jerusalem is an occupied city. They admit that once upon a time, it was the capital city of the Jewish people. But they argue it lost the title some 2,000 years ago, after it was destroyed and its Jewish inhabitants were exiled. And they say, in 1967, the Jews showed up and took Jerusalem from the Palestinian people. So in that case, why does President Donald Trump want to move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem? Here is the truth about Jerusalem and the Jewish people. Jerusalem was the capital of the Jewish kingdom established by King David 3,000 years ago. His son, King Solomon, built the first temple in the place where, according to tradition, the binding of Isaac and Abraham took place 1,000 years earlier. The Babylonians destroyed the temple and exiled the Jews, but the Jews quickly returned. 500 years later, the Romans destroyed the second temple. But did that end the Jews' connection to Jerusalem? The answer is a resounding no. In the 2,000 years that followed, empires came and left, conquered, colonized, and occupied Jerusalem, never turning it into their capital. While the Jews, Jerusalem's indigenous people, continued living in and returning to Jerusalem, despite the hardship and danger involved. Over a thousand years ago, the Arab writer Mukaddasi complained that the Jews constitute the majority of Jerusalem's population. Jews remained a majority also in modern times, as documented by the British Council in 1864. And Jerusalem was always the center of Jewish life, even for those living far away in the four corners of the earth. Special fast days and rituals mourn the destruction of the city, and daily prayers express the hope of a full return. In Islam, a religion which was established only 1400 years ago, Jerusalem was never as holy as Mecca or Medina. In fact, Jerusalem isn't even mentioned in the Quran. Compare that to the 669 times Jerusalem is mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. Even Muslims on the Temple Mount turn their backs on Jerusalem and face Mecca when they pray. Whether in America, Russia, Iraq, or Iran, the direction of prayer for Jews has always been Jerusalem, the uniting force and the heart and soul of the Jewish people. So what really happened in 1967? First of all, there was no Palestinian entity. In 1948, Jordan conquered the eastern part of Jerusalem, dividing the city and expelling the Jews, destroying their homes, synagogues, and cemeteries. Western Jerusalem was re-established as Israel's capital, while Jordan's capital remained Amman. Then, in 1967, in a war of self-defense, the Jewish state liberated and united its historic capital city. What has happened since then? Israel has returned Jerusalem into a vibrant city and a house of all nations, establishing the freedom of worship to all peoples and religions. So why does President Trump want to move the embassy to Jerusalem? The real question is, why did it take so long? <laughs>